Hello there, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name's James. And I'm Paul, and we want to welcome you all to James and Paul Try It All. Today, we're coming at you from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and we'll be taste testing 10 different pizza slices found along the Strip and downtown Las Vegas. Are you ready to begin? Did you remember to bring the Pepto? I did. Then let's get this pizza party started. In an effort to treat our stops today as fairly as possible, we'll be judging each pizza shop by the same type of pizza. And because we're suckers for tradition, that means we've chosen none other than the classic slice of pepperoni. James and I will be grading each of the 10 slices in four different categories, appearance, quality, taste, and value. Every category will be given a score on a scale of one to five. And since it's widely known that no two humans have ever been able to completely agree on what makes a quality pizza, Paul and I will be deciding our own scores and adding them together to determine each slice's final overall score. Once we've tested all 10 pizza slices, whichever slice has the highest score wins and will be named the official James and Paul Try It All Best Slice in Las Vegas. Not that they actually win anything. That's right, our accolades are completely meaningless. If you stuck around this long, be sure to give us a thumbs up or leave us some love in the comment section. It really helps the video be seen by more viewers like you. And if you want to see more of us seeking out unique experiences and delicious food, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with future videos. Our first stop is New York Pizzeria at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. This obviously New York style pizza restaurant offers pizza slices cut from their hand tossed 18 inch pizzas. While this casual slice counter offers other tasty offerings such as stromboli, garlic knots, and salads, we're not here for salad. Let's check them out. All right, friends, it's confession time. We realized, unfortunately, too late that the mics in this scene were not re recording our audio. We're still not quite sure what actually happened, uh, but unfortunately, uh, at the time, we did not check, so we found out only when we got home. That being said, uh, this was our first stop at New York Pizzeria. Uh, of course, we tried their pepperoni slice. We also got a, a slice of like some mushroom, I believe. I can't, I'm now forgotten. It looks like it had spinach on it. Yeah, it, it was, might have been spinach on yeah. mushroom. It was a typical Florentine. That leads me with a perfect segue into what we thought about New York Pizzeria is that it was forgettable. It was very generic. It felt like a mall food court. It was almost a mall food court, mm -hmm. and there wasn't really anything special about it. Right, right. Ultimately, it was probably, if we're being generous, on par with a Sbarro's. Uh, there was not a lot of flavor. Uh, it was okay. Uh, would I go over there again? Probably not, because it was also kind of ridiculously overpriced. I it think. was $13 for that slice of pizza. Yeah, which... I get it, it's the strip, but ultimately $13 for one slice of very mediocre pepperoni pizza was just not worth it. If you're going to be paying $13 for a piece of pizza, then it needs to wow. Yep, yep. Um, at least be better than tomorrow. That's the, other, the bare minimum. That being said, uh, we're not going to continue to waste your time. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next stop. Thank you. Our next stop on our list today can be found inside of Italy, located at the Park MGM Hotel. This expansive Italian food hall and marketplace is known for their quality and accompanying price tag, as well as their sheer variety of authentic Italian food. With a wide selection of Italian cuisine to choose from, you can easily have a different meal each time you visit. When you're dining, you can even do a little grocery shopping and buy a quarter of pasta, meats, Italian soups, and cheeses. But we are here for one thing only. And maybe a canola. All right, we just sat down at Italy to grab our slice of pizza. Now this is actually a little bit of a variation uh, than what we're supposed to be doing. Now, all of them were supposed to be pepperoni, but Italy being super fancy, traditional Italian cuisine does not have a traditional pepperoni pizza slice. Instead, this is a hot honey soppressetta. Uh, soppressetta, if you're not familiar, is more like a spicy salami, um, but very similar in flavor profile to pepperoni. So we figured this was a good 
uh, substitute in this case. I am very excited to try this. Honey's been a huge thing lately. Um, you want the first bite? I, I had the first, the first bite the last time. You go first. I will take the first bite on this, so let's try it and see let's how do this we little, do. Uh, mm, burnt pepperoni, or chopperchetta. That's good though, oh my god. Wow. Yeah, is that good? Yeah. I'm excited about the hot honey. I feel like I need to you can definitely feel the flavor of the sopressata. The bottom of the crust is baked really well. Mm. It's nice and crisp. <laughs> That's hot, but oh my and god. Everything about the sopressata is nice and crisp. It's it's salty, it's savory, and it's yeah, you're right. It's it, they cooked it to the point where it's just almost like crispy bacon. Mm. I love it. The little burnt edges I mean, around the, the end there. So far I'm willing to give this a five. Mm. This is deserved a five. Right, right, right. I mean, I'm not the really thing about this. Admittedly, this was a fourteen dollar slice of pizza. I don't know if I think it's worth it. Uh, I want to think it's worth it because it's actually really tasty. Um, but I'm gonna have another bite. Let's let's see what I think here. Oh my Lando. Mm. That hot honey adds a whole new depth of flavor to it. I love sweet and spicy and salty and savory together. I think it's such a, a wonderful combination. And so many people are, I guess, apprehensive of combining savory and sweet. But in this case, it works really well. And I'm super greasy. I'm uh, going napkins. And I'm going to butt in and say that when it comes down to the flavor and value, yes, it's $14, but I would pay 15 or 16 for the slice of pizza. Right. It's quite good. It's quite good. So. While we're still figuring out our scores, which we'll announce all the scores at the end of the video and tally them up and figure out the winner. But while we're still figuring out the scores, I will just go ahead and say, I think Italy should be a stop if you're willing to pay a little bit more for a slice of pizza in Las Vegas. Um, that being said, I'm gonna shut up so I can eat more of this pizza because it's slowly disappearing before my eyes when I'm talking. Um, but yeah, uh, let's let's finish this up and get going to the next stop. Yes. Everything about this, amazing. Yeah. Cheers. As a huge fan of EDM, you probably all know where I'm headed too far next to the spot. If saying that doesn't clue you in on its own, we're at the property Food Hall at the Aria Hotel to try Pizza Aoki. This food hall stall serves up slices of pizza from the mind of world famous DJ Steve Aoki. And while we're sticking to the classic pepperoni slice called the Mike Rock, they also offer vegetarian friendly slices such as the boneless white pie or the no beef with roasted vegetables and mushrooms. Though for you carnivores out there, they've got you covered with an ultra meaty slice called the Hero Quest. Now while there's a lot more to the proper eats food hall, with nine other stalls offering a variety of options, we have a date with a slice of pizza. All right, friends, we just grabbed a booth here at the proper eats food hall at the Aria. Uh, we are testing out pizza aoki. Uh, the, so far we got one nice giant slice of pepperoni pizza. Again, with the beautiful little cup pepperonis collecting all that tasty, tasty grease. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Look this, how greasy that looks. That looks like a good pepperoni slice of pizza. I uh, so far it looks like it has a good, you know, nice Christmas to it. There's a nice bubble with the cheese, and I think it's perfectly cooked. I I, I love this this color in a, a slice of pizza. So like that's like perfect. So let's give this a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go first since you got the last slice first. Let's. We're gonna do the fold test. Okay, crispy, yet foldy, the way I like it. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, grease is dripping down my hand. It is ridiculously greasy. Okay. I knew we need napkins. We forgot napkins. <laughs> it's ridiculously greasy. Go ahead and taste it. Um, Let me go ahead and take a fold yeah. here. So it folds without the break. Right, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't snap. It, but there's definitely a lot of Christmas to it. The dough is really, really good. It's super thin, but just perfect. Like not thin enough where you're, you doesn't, where it doesn't feel like it has stability to it. That being said, I think the the sauce has a great acidity. I think the cheese is just the perfect amount of creaminess and saltiness, um, and the pepperonis. 
No. One thing, I, yeah, one thing I can say about this crust is that it has a nice chew to it. it you yes. can tell that the gluten structure was really good. It, as this, this was a well-proof dough. Yep. Um, all in all, I think Steve Aoki has a really solid product here, and I'm super impressed. Uh, obviously, restaurant tourism uh, is that a word? Restaurant tourism uh, runs in the family of the Aoki's. Uh, so yeah, I am. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this. I, I would come back to Pizza Aoki. I definitely would as well. Yeah. I would rate it high on a lot of the different scales, but we'll see what the final score is. Let's uh, let's split this guy in half here, and then let's figure out our final score. Here, oh, oh. there we go. All right, <laughs> I got a little bit more. There we go. Mm. It's almost like two slices in one. Cheers. Cheers. Our next spot on our epic food quest is located here at the Cosmopolitan. Shh, it's a secret. So much of a secret that there's no sign for it. Instead, you have to know what to look for. This mysterious slice shop is accessible via the third floor of the Cosmopolitan, and its entrance is hidden along a record-lined hallway. Judging by the line that's often coming out of this place, something tells me the secret's out. All right, friends, we just picked up our slice of pepperoni pizza from uh, Secret Pizza here at the Cosmo. Uh, now, I gotta say, before we get into the slice here, one thing that immediately almost makes me want to give this a little bit of a lower score, uh, ultimately, is the lack of seating. Yes, I know it's a Secret Pizza place, but there's no freaking place to sit. Yeah, not much. You just order at the counter and, and there's like a, for yourself. Yeah, there's like a few counter <laughs> spots, but that that's it. Um, but beyond that, we are like outside of Secret Pizza now with our pizza slice. Uh, it was a, just about eight bucks, if I remember correctly. And the other thing that I kind of want to score down on was it. This doesn't seem like an eight dollar slice of pizza, um, not compared to what we got at Pizza Aoki. So this has to be really, really good pizza if it hopes to beat out Pizza Aoki or Italy at this point. Um, I do think it's going to beat out. New York pizza radio, though. Definitely by a long shot. Right. Definitely. So I, I have the first by the last one. You want, you want to go? I will take the first All one. All right. Be careful. It looks super greasy. It is very greasy. Take first that plate. Take, yes, I will take, take that the plate. plate. <laughs> it is super greasy. What pepperoni pizza isn't super greasy? I don't know if I want a non-greasy pepperoni pizza. Like, I think that's part of what makes a pepperoni pizza good, right? Like, the grease. You, you, you got to do the little napkin dab, which, you know, which... I'm going to... I have to be 100% honest... It's good. It's not great. Uh, I, um, full is very greasy. The crust is really thin, but there isn't as much of a chew compared to Steve, Steve Aoki's pizza. I I will say though, just by feel alone, I think the crust itself here has a really good feel. What I like in a pizza crust, I can tell that's going to be chewy. Um, let's see how it tastes though. Hmm. Are you having different impressions just from that bite? It's solid, but it's not remarkable. Like I like yeah, the pep it, I mean, I like the flavor. The sauce is good. The cheese is good. The pepperoni doesn't have a lot of flavor, though. In fact, it's very mild pepperoni. So I feel like there's a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of fattiness. You know, the richness of the pepperoni, but in all reality, it doesn't have that same kind of bite that I like in a pepperoni. And that's the word that we were looking for: bite. The pepperoni needs a little bit more bite to it. Yeah. I think that's not worth the calories, if I'm being honest. Our next stop on the pizza journey was Pinna Pizza, located at the Planet Hollywood Hotel. Now, admittedly, we did have an intro planned for this, but as soon as we arrived at Pinna Pizza, it had just begun to rain. So we decided that we were going to film the intro after we ate our slices. Little did we know that the rain wouldn't let up. Uh, we'll get back to that later, though. Uh, that being said, Pinup Pizza is a popular spot located near Center Strip uh, and known for their absolutely freaking ginormous slices of pizza. Um, easily a great value for what you get. Uh, and all in all, really impressive selection. Staff was friendly. We were blown away and excited to try. As you can see, there was just so much to choose from and really one slice can feed two people. Uh, that being said, Let's go ahead and move on to our actual thoughts and reactions as we enjoy our slice. All right, friends, we have just grabbed a table near the sports book at Planet Hollywood. We just grabbed our slice at Pinup Pizza. 
who boasts the largest pizza slice on the strip. This is a huge, huge slice. It is a really big slice. Admittedly, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I kind of remember it being bigger, but I'm not complaining. Uh, I will say though, it is also fairly thin, so looks can be deceiving. Um, when you go to pick this up, there is absolutely no, no, uh, like, integrity. There's, no, there's yeah. no structure. No, there's too much give. There's too much give. It's all give. Look at that. Look at it's that. It's floppy. It's, it's like a floppy, floppy rabbit pizza. ear. <laughs> yeah, it's a floppy pizza. Anyway, I, I don't mind a floppy pizza. Um, but, considering how full I'm getting, this is going to have to be really good to wow me if it's that floppy. Uh, you know, I used to think... I, I thought going into this that eating 10 different slices of pizza during a day wouldn't be that hard. I'm like, I love pizza. I can do this. Uh, I'm already kind of like regretting this decision. I know. I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, are we even going to be able to finish this? I mean, I think we can finish <laughs> this, but more importantly, I'm concerned if we're not going to be able to finish the rest of them. Um, maybe one or two more, but let, well, let's let's go. Let's keep what trying. All right, shut up and eat. Okay. Now. Oh wait, just Jesus. That hand me a napkin. That is ridiculously floppy. Oh my floppy. god. <laughs> ridiculously floppy. Ridiculously greasy. Now my unfiltered opinion on this. Nice crispness to it. It had a good crunch. I could hear it. It has crunch. a crunch. Like as you bite into it, there's a nice crunch. This might be a case of looks can be deceiving. You think it's better than it looks? It, I mean, it actually looks pretty good. Like, it don't looks wrong. good. It, it looks nicely baked. I will definitely give it some points, though, for that nice crisp when you bite into it. Take a bite and tell me what you think. It's hard to hold, though. Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Are you getting what I got from it, which was a lot of the... It, it almost tastes like it was freshly oven baked. Right. Well, that's like, like I said. That's the reason I really like a slice counter. Instantly, I feel like the pepperoni is better than Secret Pizza's. Oh yeah, um, the pepperoni is light years above Secret Pizza. Secret Pizza was fun, and everyone there was super nice. You know, they, there's obviously a passion for what they do, mm -hmm. but our friend JK, who, who was with, who's tagging along with us, said they probably put it best. Secret Pizza tasted like a whole lot of nothing. Um, for me, it tasted like a you know a cheese pizza. Yeah. And like if you if you blindfolded me and gave me that pizza, I went another pepperoni on it. This though, I can taste the pepperoni, and I think the difference being is that this is more like traditional pe pepperoni you would find on a pizza compared to the pepperoni that Secret Pizza was using, which is more like a sandwich pepperoni. Um, but yeah, so far really good. Nice amount of salt. Like for me, I think that's one of the big things I look for in a in a pizza uh, is I want a tiny, tiny bit of salt. Yeah, and I like the, the balance of this pizza slice. There's enough balance in it so that all of the different parts of the pizza, whether it's the sauce, the crust, the pepperoni, they all kind of marry together and they create this really delicious slice. It, it, you're right, and I, I will say there's a very good depth of flavor to it. Like I feel like you, know, you taste everything kind of individually, the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni. Right now I'm just kind of giving it the, you know, the, the dab test as you can see, sufficiently greasy like any pepperoni pizza should be. And some people may say this is sacrilege, but frankly, there's only so much grease my near 40-year-old stomach can handle at this point. So we're just going to dab that a little. We have five more stops to go. Five more stops awaits. to go. You know, I know in the beginning of the video I asked if you had Pepto. I might actually want one before we reach the end. Um, here, I uh, honestly, I don't mind taking this with us because it does come in this handy box. Unlike, so again... Huge points to them for giving us this giant carrying box. The box is going to get some extra points for me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, instead of a flimsy ass paper plate. Yes. So go, you pin up pizza. Uh, I want to keep eating, but in the interest of being able to continue our mission, I think we're just going to take this with us for snacks later. Yep. And this is going to be one pizza slice out of any of the places we've been that we are throwing in the towel till later. Right, and sometimes because it's not good. It is good. It's so good, I, we are gonna enjoy it later so we can enjoy the rest of the pizza. Right, we wanna be able to give you a fair opinion on the next coming five slices. On that note,
we're burning daylight as we speak and we still have five more stops to make so up next on the list we've got pizza cake pizza cake all right by the cake boss himself buddy velastro let's pack up we're off to harrow's all right friends change of plans uh, after some really unexpected rain uh, here on the Vegas Strip, uh, we are kind of soaked. Um, at this point, we have returned to our room at the Paris and have made the decision to suspend part of our pizza quest for the day. Now, uh, we still technically have five more stops that we wanted to make, uh, but three of those will actually be uh, a job for future James and Paul either tomorrow or the next day. Um, again, this was unforeseen. We really wanted to do the marathon stretch of 10 pizza slices, uh, but in the interest of just safety and not being soaked for the rest of the day, uh, we are going to put a little pause on that. But fear not, uh, we will still be visiting downtown in just a few hours. Hopefully the weather's cleared up by then and we'll be hitting up uh, Pizza Rock and Evil Pine. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, in the meantime, uh, I want to say thank you to future James and Paul. We appreciate you taking on the extra workload. Uh, so, thanks, guys. We'll meet up with you later in the video. In the meantime, baby, I don't know about you, but I can stand to lie down for a few minutes. And I can stand to get out of these wet socks. Yeah. yeah you know, my socks are moist. Let's, let's do that. All right, guys. We're going to reconvene in just a little bit. And actually, what's probably going to happen is that James, future James and Paul will be taking over here shortly. So, um, I guess... Let's just go ahead and cut to them. James, future James and Paul, take it away, boys. Later that night. ultimate stop for the day's pizza was Pizza Rock, located in downtown Las Vegas, just off of Fremont Street. We had heard really great things about this nightlife-inspired pizza joint, and we were both very excited to be there. We both also wish we were a little hungrier. Now, Pizza Rock specializes in many different types of pizza, from Neapolitan, Classic Italian, Classic American, Sicilian, and Roman. They also offer a variety of craft cocktails and 23 beers on tap. It's just too bad that we didn't have the room for any of that. All right, folks, we just got our slice from Pizza Rock. Look at this big, beautiful pepperoni slice. Nice, crispy crust. Little cuppy pepperonis. You gotta have the little cuppy pepper. Like I said, that makes the best pepperoni pizza. Um, all right, so just like all the other ones today, we are going to taste test this. We're going to share this bad boy and, and give you our honest thoughts and opinions. So um, I don't remember who went first last time. So I'm just going to go. You go first. All right. I think you did actually before we, we took a break due to the rain. Oh, that That's is impression. stupid good. Okay. Mm. Jesus, Jessica Parker. Oh, my Lanta. That's actually get, pretty good. Um, that could be to be the first bite, the fact that I haven't eaten you know, anything for a while, and I'm now finally starting to be a little hungry again. But the first bite was really good. Take, take a bite. Let's take I was, a bite. Yeah. Now you're at a disadvantage because you got the bubble. And I love the bubble on a, on a slice of pizza, as weird as that is. But I feel like you need to get a little bit deeper then, because... I do. The bubble is amazing though. Right. I love a nice little, little bubble in a slice of pizza. I don't know why. Everything I mean, about the bubble is, it shows just how well it was baked because it creates that nice bubble in the pizza. I think, I mean, I think the sauce is really good. I I think the, the you can hear the crunch. I'm really hoping that comes up on the, on the mics. Um, but I, I'm sitting here and I can hear, oh, wow. Wow. Let's do the bubble. Everything about the sauce, the sauce has a nice acidity to it that just kind of breaks through. Mm -hmm. The crust is perfectly crisp. And these little pepperonis, 
have a lot of spice and flavor. Yeah, there is a really good flavor to the, the pepperoni. Compared that, to a lot of the pepperonis that I have tried today, these are probably going to be my favorite so far. I will agree with the sauce. I feel like it has a really rich tomato flavor to it. And tomato is one of those things that can either really shine through or ends up being kind of bland. Um, and I will say, this is not a bland piece of pizza. No. So if you find yourself in downtown Las Vegas, Pizza Rock's definitely worth a stop. Um, I actually want to, I mean, I don't honestly thought I'd be so sick of pizza at this point, but. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, this is probably yeah. my favorite slice so far. Mm. Oh, really? Really? I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, that's fair, but I don't know if I agree with that. I think my favorite slice right now is probably still um, Pizza Aoki. Pizza Aoki was really solid. That was a really but good I will slice. have to think about it. I, I, will, I will think about this when we do our grading because this is really good. Um, actually, I want to just taste the crust. Let's just taste a little. Let me take a little bit too. Mm. I love that cornmeal that you find on a good hand-tossed pizza. It just adds that yeah. little extra crunch. I mean, it doesn't even like add a lot of flavor. It just adds crunch. And I worked in pizza for many, many years. I know exactly why they do it. It makes it easier to, you know, well, get off the peel. Get off the, <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. Get off the peel there. Um, but yeah, all in all, I, I can't think of anything bad to say about it. No. So, Everything about this has been a great So we slice. got two drinks and a slice of pizza for what, 15 bucks? About 15 bucks. That's not even the worst what no. we paid today. Like, so yeah, hands down, I recommend Value, Pizza Rock. Yes. I'm excited to see what their final score is. I am too. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're going to finish this slice and then we're going to mosey on over to our last pizza stop of the day, Evil, Evil Pie. Pie. At long last, we have finally reached the finish line of the pizza crawl for the day at Evil Pie, also in downtown Las Vegas. Evil Pie specializes in daring pizzas such as the Bidia, featuring grazed goat meat, the Greasy Strangler, made with three types of pepperoni, and for the gluten-free, there's the Olivia Gluten-Free John. Now, with the intention of just finishing this up, we had gone for the Extreme Pepperoni Slice. So here are our reviews on what we thought about it. All right, this is the last slice of pizza for the day until future James and Paul continue the quest for the uh, missing three slices that we didn't get. We are uh, just about to try a pepperoni slice from Evil Pie, an often talked about uh, pizza slice restaurant here in uh, downtown Vegas. Um, we both heard so much about it. I'm excited. How about you? I'm very excited. All right. So I, this is the extreme pepperoni, which has three types of pepperoni in it. Three types of pepperoni? Uh, yes. Three. I missed that. That's a, that's a lot of pork. Um, all right. I'm I'm excited. I mean, look, again, little cuppy pepperonis. It looks nicely greasy, but not like, but not overly greasy. That's like the, the thing. There's a fine line with a pepperoni pizza where it's the perfect, like just dripping grease or it's a grease ball. And between the ones that we've had today, some of them have been too greasy. Yeah. And some of them have just been too floppy. I'm excited to see what this one brings to the day. Right, right. I I started the last one. Go, why don't you, you go ahead? Take a bite from the first. Okay, solid crust. Oh yeah. I can feel that. Nice little, I like, I love a nice little char mm -hmm. on the bottom of a, of a slice of pizza. Um, and, uh, you know, I said this earlier you know, today when we were shooting, I, I love pizza slices. Like, a whole pizza is fine, but I love something about a par-baked slice of pizza because you get that beautiful, nice little char on the bottom. So. Are you ready for my verdict? I mean, go for it. I'm going to take my first bite. So my verdict on this is amazing. The three types of pepperoni blend really together. It's almost like you're getting three different types of flavors that all merge into one. Mm -hmm. And you get each of that condensed into that bite of pizza. No, I agree. I instantly noticed that as soon as I bit down, before you even said it, I'm like, one, two, three. three. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I like that a lot. It is spicy, but not like hot spicy. Like there's just that pepperoni spice to it. And um, I don't know if I think it's overpowering or not. Maybe for me, it's a little too much, but 
Let's try one more. It's pretty solid. Yeah, I, I will definitely give this pizza high rating. If someone, if, if we were with with friends and they were and we were in downtown Las Vegas and they said let's go to Eagle Pie, I wouldn't say no. I, definitely in a heartbeat. I feel like the sauce is a little lacking, though, if I'm being honest. Um, the more that I think about it, it is very cheese and pepperoni forward. They have super pepperoni forward. Like, that's the only real flavor I'm getting is pepperoni. It kicks you in the teeth with pepperoni. Uh, no, I, I take that back. It takes a pepperoni stick and literally beats you about the head and neck with it. Um, but it's good. So if you like pepperoni pizza, like that's your favorite type of pizza, this is a really solid slice. I tend to lean more towards simpler pizzas or vegetable pizzas or like white pies. But we felt that pepperoni is such a, 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 a standard when it comes to a pizza slice. I feel like that's the, the most fair one to judge someone. And it's most fair because almost everywhere has a pepperoni. Right, except for Italy. Italy was the only one who did not have a pizza slice, uh, pepperoni slice. Um, but Sopra said is a very close second, so we can't even talk about that. And hot honey. That was good. Um, but yeah, my verdict, again, solid pizza. I don't know if it's the best one we've had today. Uh, actually, I know it's not the best one we've had today. This is my opinion. How about you? I don't know. I'm going to probably rate this one pretty high. I mean, I feel like you're, you, know, you might be being too generous. But we that's why we are doing separate scores. We will tally up our score of that. And then once future James and Paul finish the last three stops, Mulberry Street Pizza at Resorts World, Bananos Pizza, we are gonna, either going to do a Venetian or Flamingo, and then, uh, of course, there will be a pizza cake by Buddy Velastro himself at Terra's. Um, so, until we finish the final three, we can't make a, a verdict yet. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to enjoy a few more bites of this pizza before we finish the rest of our night. Let's do it. The following day. All right, after being rained out the day prior, we decided to chug right along to our next stop, which was Pizza Cake by Buddy Velastro, located at the Harris Hotel and Casino. This old school New York inspired pizza joint offers a variety of different pizza slices from the Cake Boss and is accessible right from the sidewalk of the strip. One unique thing about this pizza place is the hours. Pizza Cake is open until 3 a.m. Monday to Wednesday and 4 a.m. on Thursday to Sunday, so this is the perfect stop just for a late night. Night snack. It's time for another voiceover, but this time not because the mics weren't working, they were working too well. It was back to back and sync and backstreet boys in the background of our video. Right. And in an effort to avoid a copyright uh, strike on YouTube, uh, we've decided to go go ahead and voice over what our thoughts and opinions were on Pizza Cake, which I'm just gonna go ahead and flat out say it. Uh, we were shocked. And I, how much we enjoyed them. I never was expecting it to be as good as it was. Right, right. Ultimately, it, the pizza looked great. It tasted great. Uh, the, the quality was there. And it, the value was astounding. Pizza Cake offers two slices and a beer for like $21, which is unheard of. And by the time you add the second beer on, you can get... Enough for two for under thirty bucks yeah. on the strip. Yeah, on the on the strip, it's just a completely amazing deal, uh, especially for center strip location at the Harrah's. It not only that, it is open super late most of the time. I believe sometimes until like three, four a.m. Uh, so really, just a great Vegas deal. Super yummy pizza. Hats off to the cake boss. And as you can clearly see, I had the pepperoni slice. You had the Sicilian. The Sicilian pepperoni slice, which was like eating a, like a fluffy dinner roll. It was so good. Everything about that Sicilian was very pillowy. And there was a lot of flavor in just the dough. Right, absolutely. Uh, really, the pepperoni had a great meaty porky, spicy flavor to it. Uh, the sauce it was acidic and, and, and just the right amount of tart and sweet. Um, dough was, the dough was chewy and just had a great little, nice little saltiness to it at the same time. All, all in all, just, I, uh, I, it was the perfect pizza package for me. Everything about it just worked and I would definitely go to Pizza Cake again. Yeah. Can't wait to go there again. Uh, that being said, uh, Let's move on to our next stop because we have so much more pizza to share with you. 
In our epic quest to finish off this pizza crawl, we decided to stop at the Flamingo Resort for a Bananos pizza location. However, once we arrived there, what we found was not what we expected. All right, so update. Apparently this location of Bananos is, might be under renovation because there's nothing but like put up and drills and, and plaster and wood and stuff back there. So it looks like a, this this epic pizza quest has thrown us yet another curveball. The pizza gods are determined to stop us from finding the best slice on the strip. Um, so we are going to now reconvene, uh, regroup, and uh, think about our plans. Uh, obviously, we're going to hit up another Bananos uh, location. Like as we said, there is one located at the Venetian and the MGM Grand, at least to our knowledge. Um, if that doesn't pan out, we, well, we might throw in a, uh, another pizza spot on, on the fly. Uh, so stay tuned for, for the developments. The next morning. All right, friends, we are at our penultimate stop on our ill-fated pizza quest. We have finally made it to Mulberry Street Pizza here at Resorts World Las Vegas. Uh, now, Mulberry Street Pizza has been called some of the best New York style pizza in Los Angeles. So let's see if that holds true for Las Vegas as well. Are you ready to do this, baby? I just want to get this over with, so let's get some pizza. Alrighty, we're gonna head inside and let's check out their pepperoni pizza slice. All right, guys, we just sat down at Mulberry Street Pizza uh, and we uh, got our pepperoni slice here. Looks like a fairly standard slice of pepperoni, a little on the thin side. But, but that's, that's not the worst. Little. But again, you know, sometimes looks can be deceiving. And right. Sometimes you'll never know what you're you're gonna get with it. No, so. because you know, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I will say that because I'm a sucker for this particular flavor. I also picked this up a barbecue chicken slice um, because I have to know. I love barbecue chicken pizza. But the thing is, this one seems a lot thicker. So I'm almost kind of wondering how it's gonna compare. But. The true competitor here is the pepperoni slice. So, um, Paul, why don't you go ahead and okay. give that a shot first? Let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm gonna have a little sippy sip of the Coke while we start that. Mmm. My thoughts on it is that it is a little thin. Okay. Just oh, it thin. is very thin. Very thin. It's like, it's, it, I can almost feel like I can see through this. <laughs> um, how does it taste? Um, as far as taste, though, it's balanced, but like secret pizza, just okay. I think pepperoni is better than secret pizza. Um, I will give it that. Yes. I think there's the a good saltiness to it. The pepperoni does have a saltiness. Um, cheese does too. Cheese does too. Everything is balanced, but I would say just okay. Yeah. It was like what seven ninety five for this. Value is a mi there. Value is there. It, it'd be better there. if it was thicker. Yes. I mean, like don't get me wrong. You want thin crust New York style pizza, but you want to have some sort of substance to it, some sort of weight to it. Yeah. This is just kind of really thin, and I don't know. If this is the normal. If this is just or if it was just stretched thinner. Um, I've worked in pizza for I worked in pizza for many years, so I know that you know pizza to pizza can vary. Yep. Um, depending on how long it proofed and whatnot. So one nice thing though is the fold. It is perfect for folding. It, with the thin thinness to it, it is a perfect pizza to fold. I just feel like there should be more heft in my hand okay. there. Like mm -hmm. it, it feels like when I pick it up, I'm like, oh, this is surprisingly light. Either way, it's still a great piece of pizza. All right. Now, just because for science purposes, let's let's compare it to the barbecue chicken here, um, which already instantly feels hefty, and sturdier. Um, but I, I, one thing I want to point out is there's tomato on the barbecue chicken pizza, and I have never, in all my life, had a barbecue chicken pizza with tomato, with red onions, yes, with pineapple even, yes, um, but not tomato. But, have you I ever seen that? I haven't, but I do think the tomato is going to give it a little something extra. It, almost like when we would order a typical white pie with tomato on it. I think it's going to just come out and just bring the flavors out of the other toppings. I think you need to shut up and put that in your mouth because that's <laughs> really good, actually. 
like, yeah, no, you're right. The tomato mm. instantly, the it, it's like, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not like soggy, overcooked tomato. It's actually very crisp, oh, yeah. very fresh. That, I don't, yeah, that tomato is amazing. It really does add a lot to so. it. The onion is really oh, yeah. bright. The red onion has such a solid got these onion little, flavor. Little red onions, which are perfect. You have to have red onion on a barbecue yeah. chicken pizza. I hate when piece, people. I mean, I hate when pizza places I don't put red bite. onion on barbecue chicken. Um, so honestly, my first initial thoughts are based on what we've tasted so far. If you're coming to Mulberry Street Pizza, I would maybe skip the pepperoni. And I would go for a specialty slice yeah. like the barbecue chicken. Yeah. But they also had like buffalo chicken. They had a white pie with spinach. Um, I saw a vegetarian special. There's definitely other options. Um, but the you know, classic pepperoni, we'll give it one more bite just to be certain. But Bad. And I will say this, that based off of what we're judging, we're judging each place off of a pepperoni slice right. in and of itself. So, I mean, pepperoni itself does leave something to be desired, but the barbecue chicken pizza right. is where it's at. And if you do come here, make sure you go for that barbecue chicken pizza or any, or try any of the other types. Yeah. They, they, those toppings are pretty solid. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All in all, like I said, pepperoni, it's okay. Especially sliced seems to be where it's at. So I do encourage checking out Mulberry Street Pizza, but uh, unless you've got the palate of a you know toddler or uh, you've got kids that you're feeding, I would go for something a little bit more elevated than the standard pepperoni. And that's where they shine. Yeah, yeah. I think this was a successful yep. taste test here at Mulberry. I'm glad we did it. I and am so glad that we did and it. And we got to see Resorts World, which I know a lot of people say not necessarily bad things about Resort World, but uh, so far I've been really impressed. I think this is a beautiful resort, and I would absolutely love to stay here one of these days. So I, I fully agree. Now, we still have one last pizza stop to make, uh, and that's going to be Bananos. We are still trying to get to a Bananos. <laughs> We're uh, still trying to find one that's either not under construction, not rained out, or not open. Right, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so let's cross our fingers and hope we find it today. Right. As, uh, as you've been watching this video, you can see that our original intent of visiting all 10 pizza places in the same day did not work. Um, and then when we tried to go to Bonanno's uh, to catch up, well, we chose a Bonanno's that wasn't open. <laughs> so. And the worst part was we didn't even check it before we filmed. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, you know, live and learn. It's our first video after all. Live and learn. Um, all right, guys, we'll see you in a bit when we get to Bananas. The following day. At long last, despite taking three times as long as we originally anticipated, we have finally reached our last pizza destination. Today, we are at Bananas at the Venetian Resort, and we are about to try our final slice of pepperoni pizza on this epic pizza quest of sampling over 10 different pizza places found along Las Vegas Boulevard and downtown. I'm ready for this to be over. Paul's ready for this to be over. I think by the time we're done, we're not eating pizza for a very long time. My detector test determined that was a lie. I say this now and watch me eat pizza like, you know, like we get back home. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pick up our slice dive right in and see what we think. All right, guys, it is time for the final slices on the pizza trip. Finally. Finally. All right, I never thought eating pizza would be so freaking hard. As with all of our stops, we've got a classic pepperoni slice. Look at those curly little cuppy pepperonis. So cute, I can't wait to taste them. And once again, I have to just from my own knowledge, I have to go with a slice of barbecue chicken pizza because I love some barbecue chicken pizza. And I'm honestly kind of sick of pepperoni pizza, so I had to balance it out. Uh, let's go ahead and start. I'm, I'm going to start off with pepperoni because, whoo, whoo, that's, that's hot. hot. That's <laughs> hot. But so far, good feeling of the crust. Uh, solid. It's decently thick. You know, only slight droopage. Let's go to bite. Mm. 
cheese is good. Sauce is okay. Pepperonis, mm, they could use a little more flavor themselves. But all in all, not a bad slice. Um, the crust is actually pretty good. It has a good chew to it. It's sturdy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this ranks up as far as anywhere in the top. I put it firmly in the middle. It's not It's not as bad as New York Pizzeria mm -hmm. at New York, New York. Definitely um, not. Or even I, Secret Pizza, which again, still shocks me that that was not a ranking higher for us. I was shocked by that one because that was just a mid pizza slice. Yeah, yeah. And I will agree with James's assessment that this is a mid pizza slice. It's, it hits all the notes, but it hits them just where they satisfy, but nothing more. Right. It's not mind blowing. It's very average. Um, but if you find yourself here in the Venetian, and you're in the mood for pizza, I mean, there actually are quite a few pizza options at the Venetian, but if you find yourself in the mood for pizza and you're near the casino floor, um, it's Bonanos. A, it's a solid option. It's a solid option. Especially just for just quick grab and go slice camera. I will add though, that I feel so bad that we went through all this effort to try this last one, and it wound up being mid. Meh, we had to find out. Now, for some barbecue chicken pizza. Uh -huh. Let me take a taste. Again, it's all right. Honestly, Mulberry Street's barbecue chicken pizza was mm -hmm. five times better. Yeah, yeah, Mulberry Street was a lot better than this. But this one hits all the notes. One thing I really do like is the crisscross of the barbecue sauce. It's okay. I mean, the barbecue sauce could have a better flavor. It could be stronger. It's very mild. Um, it's it, it could use more red onion. And honestly, now after Mulberry Street, I'm thinking tomato. Like I yeah. never would have imagined tomato on barbecue chicken pizza being. But the tomato is what pushed that over the edge. I'm still going to take a slice of this pizza. It's still good pizza. I will say, the further I get into the pepperoni, I know it's a little bit more pepperoni flavor, but it's also just, again, not mind-blowing. Not anything crazy good. When we decided to visit 10 different pizza places in Las Vegas, we learned mostly that our stomachs will catch fire. We learned that there is a lot more walking than anticipated, and we learned that half the fun is in the journey along the way. We had plenty of help from our friends in filming this content, and we learned a lot of patience, trust, and grace in rolling with any setbacks along the way, especially with the audio and those pesky lapel mics. We also learned that filming content for YouTube during the course of having our wedding in Vegas was definitely a challenge, but we persevered, we persisted, and we put together a journey in experiencing 10 different pizza slices on the Las Vegas Strip in downtown. And as we headed back to the airport, we were able to take a much needed rest before we made it home and announced our winner a few days later. Stay tuned to find out which pizza spot was the best in Las Vegas. And just like that, friends, we are back home in Phoenix, Arizona. I think I speak for both of us when I say it was a fantastic trip. But we might be sick of pizza at this point. That was 10 different slices of pizza, plus a few extras that we squeezed in there. Um, but we've had a little bit of time to tally up the scores. And we're going to go through them all here now and wrap this video up. Because it's already running long. So let's get to this. Right, babe? Yep. So coming in last with 17 points was New York Pizzeria. It was literally just step above a Sbarro and the place looked like a mall food court. Yep. Tasted like mall food court pizza. Actually a little bit less. I'm gonna not gonna be honest. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't that good. No. Right behind it, with a score of 20, though, is Secret Pizza, and I have to say, the Secret is out. It also wasn't that great. I like how they took a little bit of chance with the deli-style pepperoni. Uh, cool concept, yeah. you know, really fun. You know, employees there, super nice. Um, I was hoping for better, but it ranked just mid. Yeah, it was just kind of mediocre pizza. After that, even though they have multiple locations on the strip, Bananos. Also, just a mid-pizza slice. If you're looking just for pizza, it's okay. With a score of 26, that is. Yes, with a score of 26. Now, also tying at 26 points, 
It was Mulberry Street Pizza, uh, that is some sometimes touted as the best New York style pizza in Los Angeles. Now keep in mind, we were only judging the pepperoni slice. Uh, no, they had the bomb they barbecue chicken. They had the really good barbecue chicken pizza with the tomato. Mm. But this video was grading the pepperoni slice only. Right. So therefore, they get a twenty-six. But if it was too thin, it was too thin. Yeah. If you need a good barbecue chicken pizza, though, Mulberry Street is where it's at. Yep. With a score of 31, we've got Pin Up Pizza at uh, the Planet Hollywood. Um, this one, I, I'd say, firmly ranks in the middle. Yeah. Uh, pretty good value despite being pricey, but you get a big slice of pizza. It's a really good big slice. And the box is a nice touch. The box is a great touch. I love having something to carry that in instead of just like a paper plate. Yeah. Um, all in all, it wasn't mind-blowing pizza. It was strict middle of the road. After that, we have Evil Pie with a score of 32. Really good pizza as well. So much awesome pepperoni flavor. Yeah, yeah. I that will extreme say extreme pepperoni had three different flavors that I could taste. Right, I do like that they used multiple different types of pepperoni, but overall, the rest of the pizza itself kind of still firmly in the yeah. middle. Not not like an amazing value. Not like super expensive. Uh, appearance was good. Quality was yeah. good. But again, just good. Now the next two are tied with a score of thirty six. Right, and this was super close. Like honestly. They're almost right up, uh, you know, with our, our, our runner-up in this yeah. case. Uh, so we have Italy with 36 points, which... The only reason we knocked him down right. a peg was because technically it wasn't an actual pepperoni slice. It was the Sopracetta. It was the Sopracetta. It was honey. so delicious. Yes. Also, it was $14 for one slice of pizza. Yeah, so value did kind of take it a little bit under a lot of our other options. I know Vegas is expensive. That's really hard to justify spending $14 on one slice of pizza. After that was Pizza Aoki. Mm. Also, really delicious slice of pizza. Great. Yeah, Pizza Aoki was a solid slice. Um, definitely recommend checking them out. That was at Proper Eats, right? Yep, right at the Proper Eats Food Hall at Aria. Yes. Now, the next one got a score of just 0.5 above the last two. They literally squeeze by. Squeeze by. And this goes to Pizza Rock in downtown Las Vegas. Yes. Very Congratulations delicious. to our runner pizza. up. Oh, my Lanta. Great pizza. Awesome atmosphere. And the best pizza in downtown Vegas. Definitely best pizza in downtown Vegas. And, uh, much to our surprise, our winner yeah. of our who has the best pizza slice in Vegas. I know. did not even expect this one. No, I don't it, think anyone did. This one kind of, I expected this one to rank mid, mm -hmm. but it didn't. And it got a perfect score of 20 for me. And I can probably say perfect score of 20 score for me 20 as well. Yeah. So with 40 points, it goes to Pizza Cake by Buddy Velastro. Yeah, honestly, very shocked. Uh, the quality of the pizza was great. Um, it looked good. It tasted good. You could tell there was quality ingredients. Uh, the, the, um, Sicilian style slice of pepperoni was just so fluffy. It almost felt like eating a dinner roll. Oh yeah. It and was the, so good. The value was there too. Two slices and a beer for like 21 bucks. Which is unheard of on the strip. Center strip. Right? Center strip. And they're open late. They're open until, until 3, three or three or four a.m. Yeah. on some nights. So and they have the pizza right out there where you can just order it on the strip. Yeah. All that taken into consideration, it, it just seemed destined for pizza cake to have a per perfect score because ultimately it was just so good i can't wait to actually check them out again they're yeah, definitely gonna be a late night stop for me it's perfect for if you're gonna be playing late night craps at harrah's and you just want a slice of pizza you're yep. gonna go out there and just go to pizza cake and get your late night slice of pizza after gambling right exactly i mean how many places are you gonna get a giant meal and a beer for 20 bucks on the strip yeah in 2023 and beyond so and strip prices just keep going up right yeah so honestly go hats off to pizza cake um seriously they were great congratulations on being named the first official james and paul try it all best pizza in las vegas uh i do believe that we're going to obviously do this again in the future this was a lot of fun we both love pizza and uh we definitely have some more pizza places in vegas already lined up that we want to try and maybe the the goal is once we've done every possible pizza place we will compete them against each other 
maybe have like a round or a tournament of champions. Yes, exactly. It will be a tournament of champions. So stay tuned for that in the future. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a big like on that uh, YouTube uh, button there. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all of our future videos. This may be our first one, but we have so much more in the works. Some stuff already filmed, some things in the planning, some more trips booked. We got Los Angeles, we got Universal Studios, we've got more Las Vegas content, or we got a Knott's Berry Farm plan, uh, trip planned, uh, Disneyland planned, uh, maybe some cruises in the future. So please make sure to stay tuned. We have got a lot coming your way. That being said, I'd I think it's time to write up. It's time to finish this up. Yep, yep. I feel like this is the part where we should start singing like the Mickey Mouse uh, <laughs> theme, you know, uh, the good night theme. Yeah, the good night theme. The end of a Disneyland day. Yeah. <laughs> See you real soon. Uh, on that note, friends, thanks again for watching. Bye. Hi. Hi, all. So one thing I noticed about Vegas and the Strip in general is the fact that there's only Pepsi products on the Strip. So if you prefer Pepsi only, then this is the place for you. But if you're like my husband and you prefer Coke, then you're going to be in a whole place of hell. There's no Coke anywhere on the Strip, at least not the soda con.